Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC. And if you're shopping for a set of knee guards, well, Liat has a lot of good options. And today we're going to show you those and help you decide which one is best for you. All right, everybody, thank you so much for checking in. So today we have the Liat knee guards. As you can see, they've got a lot of different options. And depending on what your needs are, maybe what discipline you're doing, if you're mountain biking, dirt biking, or both, well, they have a knee pad for you. So we're just gonna go through and talk about these six different options that are up here on the table. Some of these are a little bit more geared towards mountain biking, but a lot of these can be used for both. So like I said, depending on what your needs are, there's gonna be one up here for you. I would love to hear your feedback. If you have one of the knee guards that we're gonna be talking about today, comment below, let us know which one you have, what you like and dislike about it to help other riders out that are looking to pick up their next set. So to get started, the first one that we have up here, this is the Airflex Pro. So the Airflex Pro is super low profile, very minimalistic. And this one and the Airflex Hybrid that I'm about to show you are the two that I would say are much more geared towards mountain biking just because they are, they are so low profile. But looking at the Airflex Pro, what I like is that the material that they're using for this one is their Airflex Impact Gel. So what I like about it is it's got a lot of flexibility, which means it's gonna be very comfortable when you have this on. All the knee guards we're gonna show you today are CE level one for impacts, which is awesome. But what I also like about this gel is that you can see there's a lot of cutouts on here, so it's gonna help airflow get through that thing to keep you cool in those hot temps. You've got some padding here on the inside as well as the outside, also just right here over top or above the knee. And then when you look at the back here, all the knee guards are using their moisture cool fabric, so it's a mesh material to help wick moisture. I also do like that on the back side they have this big cutout right here. Again, just trying to minimize the amount of material that you have and keep this thing as cool as possible if you're gonna be doing a lot of pedaling. So if you're one that likes to climb a lot, you ride in hot conditions, this would be a really good option. Price point of this, you're gonna be right about 90 bucks. Moving on from there, you have the Airflex Hybrid. So same concept here, same goal, very, very low profile, minimalistic. So again, moisture cool fabric on the back, you still have that cutout. The big difference between this and the Airflex Pro is that you're still getting the impact gel underneath this and now you just have this knit fabric here in the front. However, now they're adding these two pieces of hard plastic over top of that. So you're getting a little bit more impact protection with that plastic, but also abrasion resistance. So if you're riding in shorts, you go down and hit your knees, this is going to add to the durability versus just having that impact gel on the outside. So if you're looking for super low profile, minimalistic, but just a little bit more impact and abrasion resistance, this would be a rock solid option and price point on these, you're gonna be about 110 bucks. The last one up here is a 3DF 5.0. So I actually ride in the big brother to this, which is a 3DF 6.0, which we're gonna show you here in just a moment. But immediately something you'll notice right away with the 5.0 is that it's definitely a little bit larger and bulkier than the first two that we just showed you. Now this is one that I feel, if you wanna wear this for mountain biking or dirt biking, you could wear, wear it for both just fine. But here's what I like about the 5.0 is that they're using the 3DF impact foam on this one. So this foam, you can feel it, it's just gonna be thicker than that Airflex gel we showed you and it's not gonna be as malleable. So I would say that these two by far are gonna be the most comfortable. This is still a very comfortable knee pad. It does, it is though just a little bit bulkier and it is going to be a little bit warmer than these first that we just showed you just because you can see you've just got more fabric on these, a little bit thicker fabric, but again, the knee guard area is going to be larger. So you got a good surface area there for impacts. They have this aramid fiber here over top of that knee guard or that 3DF foam, which is gonna add some abrasion resistance. And also on the back here, again, still moisture cool, you got the big cutout, but also what I do like is that they have this strap up here on top which you can use to cinch down the top of the knee pad. And I actually use that every time I put these knee pads on. So I've been a big fan of that. So with the 3DF 5.0, again, larger knee guard area. So that impact foam is gonna be a little bit bigger. It's not gonna be as breathable or as cool as the first two, but if you wanna step up a little bit in coverage and one that you could wear for dirt biking, this would be a really good option. And the price on these, you're gonna be right about 90 bucks. So the next one we have, this is the 3DF 6.0. So this is actually the knee guard that I've been spending a lot of time in and I've been really happy with this one. Yes, it is a little bit larger and bulkier feeling and not as cool as say the Airflex Pro and the Airflex Hybrid I showed you, but I like it because it offers a lot of coverage. It's very comfortable even when I'm climbing and I just feel like I have good protection with this. So looking at it, you can see it's very, very similar to the 5.0, but the difference here being that now you do have some hard plastic over the knee area. 
And the reason that I like that personally is just one more added layer to absorb impact if I were to go down and also for durability purposes, if I do go down, I'm wearing shorts, I've got this hard plastic that I could slide on and I think it'll just help protect the knee guard even more and add to the durability. Again, all the same features with the air mesh in the back, you've got the strap on the top and then you do have the padding here on the in and the outside of the knee. So with the five, or excuse me, the 6.0 price on that, you go up again to about hundred bucks, but overall, been very happy with this one. Now moving on from there, you have the Enduro Knee Guard. And the Enduro Knee Guard is actually the same price as a 6.0. But here's the differences. Looking at this one, you have the 3DF Impact Foam. However, this one has a larger and harder plastic area. So very large, hard plastic piece here right over top of the knee. And this one is even a little bit longer than that 6.0. So it's gonna offer a little bit more coverage further farther down the leg so if you're looking to maximize the amount of coverage out of a knee guard this could be a really good option and you can see also that this plastic is a lot more rigid and it is harder than what comes on the 6.0 so you can argue that this is going to offer even more impact protection and offer really good abrasion protection if you were to go down only thing with this one that i would point out is that being that this plastic does is more rigid and not nearly as flexible I don't know if this would be a good option if you're gonna be spending a lot of time pedaling on your mountain bike, just for comfort purposes because it is more rigid. So that is definitely something that you would want to keep in mind. But hey, for dirt biking, having the extra length coming down the shin might be a bunch for a lot of riders. On the back here, a couple other minor differences. So again, you got the air mesh fabric here, but then instead of having just one stra strap up at the top, you have two straps on this one. So you can really cinch this thing down, keep that sucker in place. So again, that is the Enduro. More hard plastic, great protection, but it is going to be stiffer, but again, same price point as a 3DF 6.0. So last but not least, we have the 3DF Hybrid EXT. So if you're looking for a knee and shin guard combo, this would be a really good option. So price on this one, you're going to be about 130 bucks. I will point out though, that there are some other offerings with the EXT knee shin guard. This is going to be the most expensive of the offerings, but I will point out the difference between this and the other ones that they offer to kind of help you decide if you do want to check those out and maybe pick one of those up. But this puppy right here is more for the rider that's going to be doing mostly downhill riding. This is not a an item that I'd want to spend a lot of time in, especially climbing. So I really just think more downhill oriented with this one. But again, for moto, now that you have knee and shin protection, it'd be really good for motocross riders as well. But what I do like about the Hybrid EXT is that normally when you have a knee shin guard combo, they can be pretty stiff, pretty rigid, where you really would not be comfortable for pedaling at all. But with this one, what I like is that you've got their 3DF impact foam up on top with that same aramid fabric that we saw with the 5.0. So good abrasion resistance, great impact protection there against CE level one. But what's nice about having just that versus plastic over the knee is that it kind of separates the top from the bottom. So it still allows this thing to have a lot of flexibility. So it's not gonna be the worst if you do have to pedal in this thing. So that is one aspect about it I do like. But then you can see you've got the foam with the hard plastic coming all the way down the shin. So when it comes to full coverage, this puppy's gonna have you covered. Now, like I said, there's some other options with the EXT. The difference being with those, they are all plastic. So again, it's gonna be a little bit more rigid, not quite as comfortable as this option, but they are at a lower price point. So if you are looking for a knee shin guard combo, be sure to check those out. Now on the back here, you can see it's all open on the back, which is nice. It's gonna help this thing breathe. You've got a strap at the bottom, strap right here just above the calf. You've got a strap up on the top to help cinch everything down. So that does it. That is the lineup of knee guards from Liat. Again, we showed you six different offerings today. So just kind of ask yourself, what type of riding are you going to be doing? Aggressive riding, mostly just trail casual riding. Do you want something super low profile, minimalistic that can breathe? Do you want something that I feel kind of gives the best of both worlds, like the 6.0? Or are you looking for the max amount of coverage and impact protection possible? So ask yourselves those questions, and that'll help you decide what pair might be best for you. And as always, if you have questions or comments, leave those down below. To grab your next set of knee guards today to see all the ones that we talked about, plus the other offerings that we do have, click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtbMC.com. As always, we ship for free over 75 bucks, and we have our fit guarantee. If you buy any knee guard that we sell, you try it on at home. If you don't like how it fits, send it back in brand new, unused condition, and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. I'm Chase, we'll see you on the trails.